Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. While, you know, people are continuing to be dim and dummies and basically make every excuse in the book, basically to continue to justify voting for them as they continue to get absolutely nothing for their vote. Well, black people are sitting up here basically in denial about what's being did right before their eyes as far as the disrespect goes. Now, I'll get back to that later, but I just want to tell you something and bring something to your attention. And shout out to the homie 78. He was speaking on this as well as everybody else, and he gave a very um, blatant and valid opinion about what he speculates going on, you know, in particularly in Aurora, Colorado, a city like outside of Denver. But nevertheless, in case you haven't heard, which basically mainstream media has been blatantly ignoring this. They really haven't shed any light on this. Basically, it's just, you know, people along the guidelines of social media and Internet media have been talking about this. Now, of course, the agenda pushers have said nothing and they'll continue to say nothing because they want to make excuses justifying this. But. You're witnessing a real life New Jack City, the Venezuelan version, where basically you have a uh, gang out of Venezuela who basically went to Aurora Capital, uh, excuse me, Colorado and took over an apartment building, basically kicked people out of their apartment and took it over. And basically they use stolen weapons out of a gun shop to basically go in there and take over a building. And basically local law enforcement haven't did anything. Because at the end of the day, they've been secretly told not to do anything. At the end of the day, they keep it 100. They keep it 100 to say, well, you know, um, the reason why we haven't moved in there because we have to worry about innocent civilians being taken out and all this, you know, excuse after excuse after excuse. At the end of the day, this is the United States of America. They have highly trained People that specialize in these type of situations. This is no more different than basically a hostage crisis. Taking over a, a, a bank, you know, taking over a, a, a place like that. You know, holding people hostage at a supermarket is pretty much the same thing. They know who is who and they know what is what. But at the end of the day, the thing is those Venezuelan gangs were basically given a free pass here, a free path here. Soon as they got out of prison, they were put on a boat and sent to the United States because at the end of the day, the United States wants to continue to get oil from Venezuela. And that's secretly part of the deal. Take our trash off our hands, bring them to where you guys are at and let them be your problem at the expense of us. And this is why I tell you that, once again, gun control is bullshit. They make every rule in the book to try to suppress you and keep you from exercising your Second Amendment rights. But here these people are. They're not worried about Second Amendment rights. They, they, they don't even have a right to bear arms, but they bear arms. But then we're told not to do nothing. The police is not doing nothing. But then they don't want us to do anything. This is how deep it is. And this is how you know it runs from up top. But at the same time, you guys will make excuse after excuse for the demon dummies because they're behind this. And an orchestrated plot to basically flood out the black man, the black vote, and continue to keep black men and black women at odds via Kamala Harris, a fake black person. But a lot of y'all are too stupid to see what's going on. And that's real talk. For you dudes that are caping for Kamala Harris to get in office and you women. But more so in particularly women. That are saying we're against a black woman, a, a fake black woman. Like, are y'all that remedial? Is the Stockholm Syndrome that bad? Are some of y'all just that big of cowards? 
But this is why we don't have nothing. Because we're always made to feel ashamed to speak. We always feel like we have to include everybody in our struggles when we want things. They took over a whole fucking building. How does that happen? At the end of the day, the National Guard should be in there. It's funny, they didn't have no problem sending the National Guard in to keep them niggas that was, you know, rioting, you know, all over the place. They showed and had no problem bringing them, bringing them in, you know, for that. And they basically had orders to shoot. Kill on sight if they felt like, like they was a, a, a intimate threat. I know because my stepdad was down there and he told me, he told me him, himself. So why is the National Guard down there? Since the police won't do nothing because it's orchestrated. It's orchestrated. Being blatantly dead in our face. Your United States government is putting you at risk. Letting these people come in here. Jeopardizing the safety of not just black Americans, but Americans, period. All because they want to stay in power. All because they want to control the city. But they say that they want to protect people. At the end of the day, they're selling you out. And they're risking your safety. This should have never been allowed to happen. This is just real talk. Now, you've been hearing that that possibly uh, the vigilante groups are on their way to take care of business because they feel like law enforcement has failed them. But like I said, there's no way that that should have been allowed to happen. And from what I heard, they didn't took over two buildings. Y'all know what needs to happen to them. This should be beyond arrest. This should be beyond deportation. This is execution status now. They should be taken out. And that's just real talk. This should have never happened. This shouldn't be happening. And we all know what needs to happen. People got to stop playing these games because I didn't had enough of this stuff. I didn't had enough of people's intelligence being insulted. I didn't had enough of the excuses being made. It's just time to take action. If law enforcement won't do anything, even though we believe that they've been given orders not to do anything. Well, then you know what's up. Somebody is pulling the strings. That's just real talk. So there you have it. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.